J. Kev here. Coming to you with my first YouTube video. And here's the CTSV. Now before I get started, tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about the car. We'll give this thing a wash. Yeah, you see how dirty it is right now. So let's touch up on that bit. So yeah, man, my name is Kevin. I'm 22, born and raised. Fast forward, started my career. I needed some more money. So now I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You guys can expect action packed content from me, such as street racing, car meets, track events, and updates on the bill for the heat. I may even bring content from all over the U.S. You never know. So sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride because it's going to be a wild one. Enjoy the rest of the video. Just finished washing the car, y'all. As you can see, I cut finished before it got dark, so I'll come back out tomorrow and finish the rest of the video. All right, guys, we back. You go to CTSV right here. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the build that I have on it so far. Might give you a couple plans that I have for the future, so let's get started. Done quite a few miles on the car so far since I've had it. Only had it for a year and a half, but it. So first I got an area intake. It's one of the best intakes in the game right now. I got a green filter connected to it. Then I got a 2.4 upper pulley from Weapon X connected to a stock lower pulley and a 100 millimeter idler. Next, I got an upgraded underhood tank to help my IETs, and I also upgraded the lines to go to it. Then I got a ZZP heat exchanger you can see right there. Pretty good bang for your buck heat exchanger. I don't really see too many high IETs so far within this build. Then I got Texas Speed headers down there. Pretty good headers. Now for supporting mines, I have ID 1050 injectors. I got a DSX flex fuel sensor to help run the E85. Then also, I have a DSX auxiliary pump connected down right there, as you can see. Cosmetically, I haven't done anything to the car. Still looks stock. It's pretty much a sleeper car. But soon, I plan on getting some radios for it. I may end up blacking out the, the trim. Not sure yet, we'll see. Not sure if I wanna continue going with the sleeper look or not. All right, next, I'm gonna let you guys hear the exhaust. See how it sounds with the tick speed headers. guys that's the ctsv just a quick breakdown on the build remember to like comment subscribe that's all for this video i'll see you guys in the next one Out.